What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. There is tension in Niger and it is on the high side as military gives politicians deadline to return vehicles as Biden marks country's Independence Day insists on democracy. The military coup in the Niger Republic under the um, administration of the National Council for the Safeguarding of the Homeland has ordered all political appointees uh, um, in the state government of President Mohamed Bazoum to return vehicles that they held in their custody. You know, as a politician, you are uh, accorded um, an official vehicle once you assume office. And so the military generals have come out to say that they must return all the vehicles that they have in their custody. And the deadline is latest 12 o'clock p.m. on August 4, 2023, a day after the country's 63rd Independence Day. All right, so the council emphasized that um, all the state holders, uh, all holders of state vehicles belonging to suspended institutions, such as a high representative of the president of the republic, directors of cabinet, advisors and transversal advisors. He said all of these must return the vehicles to the presidential palace and to the administrative garage no later than the set time which is 12 noon of August 4. All right, so the tense political situation in Niger has resulted in evacuation effort by other countries with France military evacuating up to about 1,079 French and other foreign nationals as of today. The coup which hosted Bazoum uh, was ignored, uh, sorry, has ignored the directive given to them by the Economic Community of West African State ECOWAS for the release of the president to restore democracy or be ready for use of force. The ECOWAS president, um, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has sent already warning to them there is an ultimatum that they must uh, release the democratically elected president or else they, uh, they stand to battle with the economic um, community of West African states military. All right, so Mali and Burkina Faso have declared solidarity with the, um, the coup and the council vice president, Lieutenant General Ami Modu Salifu, he, uh, he had visited Mali on Wednesday for bilateral talks with its head of state, Colonel uh, Goita Asimi. Meanwhile, the President of the United States, Joe Biden, while celebrating the Jews' independence today, said the country is facing a grave challenge to its democracy. In a statement published on the White House website, Joe Biden called for President Bazoum and his family to be immediately released and for the preservation of Niger's democracy. In these critical moments, the United States stands with the people of Niger to honor our decades-long partnership rooted in shared democracy values and support for civilian-led governance. The Nigerian people have the right to choose their leaders. They have expressed their will through free and fair elections, and that must be respected. Um, that was what the uh, President of the United States said, Joe Biden. Uh, defending fundamental democratic values and standing up for constitutional order, justice, and the right of peaceful assembly are essential to the partnership between Niger and the United States. So for that reason, Joe Biden is supporting, is strongly supporting that Bazoum, who is the democratically elected president, be released uh, um, in Niger to continue the democratic government. However, the Nigerian uh, citizens also have uh, uh, the right to decide what they want since they are a country who own independence. All right, so all of these are just going on and tension is on the rise. I don't know what you guys think about this. Head over to the comment section, drop your comment and let me know what you guys think about this. I will keep updating you what is going on around the world and the country Nigeria. So Head over to the comment section, make sure to subscribe and like and share our videos. Thanks for watching.